All of the supports need to be so careful in this game positioning wise. Everybody is just gonna die. I mean, Bane, Grimstroke, Coddle, Rubik, no circumstances. Avatoss into an Illuminate could get you a kill, but are they gonna look for that or is this more of just a farming lane for the tiny? This is 100% a farming just gonna lane. Get taken but, oh, the Nightmare Ooh. level one. Sammy Boy just gets five or six free. So much base damage to play with. It's where Atrophy Aura is such a value skill level one. And that's also where Stone Bank. Ooh, that was a little bit too far hair. forward there. He. He's, yeah. He's dead. Yeah, that's an ugly death to give away there. And I was just about to mention, I don't think that they can actually make that play in this lane until Divide gets his dog chimp want to leave their carry in their, their off lane alone as much as possible. So we might see the supports from Wildcard show up to the fight with some slightly higher levels. But, oh, Sammy. He jungled for his level 6 on the storm and got to wake him up. Didn't give him a shocker, but let's see it. It's so close. Oh. And he got it of bottom lane he gets to play some more vision over in the, in the stacks here for stone bank and stone bank we'll just kind of say what's up i got my level six in the lane but uh with sammy boy gone for so long yeah they make the play on the Yamsun. Yamsun, who's just slowly regening bottom back top he didn't retreat deeper into his jungle but now he's gonna get kind of cut off farm wise and with all the vision placed well they're looking for a plan to b9 and they might have to work for a little bit more but with the step and the raindrop Takes a little bit, but he gets picked off there at the same time. Yes, and Alexa are smoked up. If they could time this out perfectly, they're going to try and bait him. The silence it will connect at a certain point. But the Inkswell doesn't. They do still get the Aether Remnant. They need more damage. They get the Fiend's Grip onto Stone Bank, so he's not going to be able to contribute to this fight. But Speed comes in on the back line. They lock down Sammy. Alexo's dropping low. Actually, he's not the main concern. It's Esk who actually got caught out and taken down. Divi now sort of stuck in the middle as well. He tried to just effectively suicide for the kill onto the Storm Spirit, and your dog champ you're okay with nothing happening for at least a little bit and i do believe the smoke is going to fail here if they find yams and that'd be insane oh, no. oh wow he farmed the camp blink avatar zip in b9 nabs the kill there with the fade bolt and that is very big the pa had just sort of been minding her business for quite some time but that is going to be a setback and now b9 with the stolen dissimilate actually kind of sidesteps this gank i think he's still going down here no he's not he oh. stole the astral step Oh, Venus there. They just don't seem to have the damage to kill him. Maybe they can get the Rubik, though. A much easier kill for them. Although, B9 still has the stolen Astral, so... Was able to get away. Stone Bank, uh, unfortunately, self-stuns, so they can't lock us down, and... The Void Spirit is going to try to get away. B9 actually tried to go back in. That was maybe ill-advised, but it is going to bait Esk into the fight. They will find that kill. They are very much okay with that trade-off, but they need to make sure they don't lose more. On Amson. Yamsa's just sitting on a Battle Fury right now, and they're pinging oh. in the top lane. Oh, they've got him. Oh, wow. There is help coming. Will it be enough to matter, though? Yamsa, nope. Not going to be able to be helped. Alexo's TP was uh, a bit of an extended one, it looked like there, so... A little bit of extra time to get him into the fight cost them as Ryoya finds the kill, and now... Done him speed quite a lot here, but... I don't know if they have enough magic damage for this, and now... Gotta be so careful. Vortex still have hit. Toss. It's a nice Fiend's Grip from Sammy, but it's not going to last very long. Speed is still walking away. B9 comes in with the Fade Bolt. They'll take down S. Illuminate flying through as well, doing a nice bit of damage. This is just getting a little bit awkward. Ryoya, though, is rooted up and low on HP, but he's able to zip back in onto Divi. Pulls him in with the Vortex. Oh. Nightmare is going to be used defensively, but it won't matter. Sammy dead. Alexo falls soon after, and Divi is going to get cleaned up. Bloody 9 gets a godsend for them to miss, but it's where Dogchimp are digging in real deep. They're way up to the north. Stone Bank is going to just sort of preemptively get that unsafe precaution going. Whoa. Jumps in, stuns four. Yeah, fight's over, boys. Uh, <laughs> that is not okay. I mean, they didn't know he was coming, but you can't be that grouped up. Four below half HP. No response from Wildcard as of yet, and Speed just gets tired of waiting. Jumps in, hits Sammy. Quick and easy kill. What's the response? Sammy will buy back, but... Speed pops to BKB, walks away. Ask, not really getting those silences down. They do catch Bloody Nine. No, they don't. They can't actually finish him off and divide. What is that? Hmm. Uh, For the safer option, if you're Dog Champ, they will be able to get the glyph back. And, oh. BKB, though, with the chain stun. 
Well, BKB doesn't do you much good if you don't ever get to pop it. And Savai gets taken down, and since he bought that BKB, that means he has no buyback. So this is just straight to the high ground. Going in, still have the... What, a, what an anomaly of an item, but... Uh, speed? Let's see it. He could spot somebody. Okay, Ask is going to just jump in for him. They're going to try and make this fight happen. Yamsun's in as well, but they actually just go straight for Sammy on the backline. They're going to be able to take him down. Ask will be dropping as well, so Yamsun is basically fighting alone. Buyback coming in from Ask, but he won't get here in time. PA will be taken down. That Fiend's Gate, you don't want to go there, Divai, but he's going to do it anyway. BKB pop. They're trying desperately to make anything happen, trying to get onto Stone Bank as best as they can, but they just don't have the damage, and they realize it. That's the GG called, and... Boy, that is a quick and one-sided victory for Dog Champ to open this one up. Yeah, and we've seen Wildcard lose their lanes. We've seen Wildcard lose early. Get versus Tiny is that draw matchup. I think a matchup that Ryoya will be very happy with. The real question is, do we need to move speed? Do we need to move this very obnoxious uh, for that Razor to ever approach? Even in the game where Esk was that mid wyvern and he was playing versus a Razor, it is so difficult to close that gap, to close that distance. And I feel like Dog Champ, yet again, got exactly what they wanted, even though Stonebank, he's Boy. eating a, quite a bit of damage. And, well, you eat three soul assumptions. Yeah, we still. Well, Sam is going to get a little bit of a boost in terms of his gold. But if you're Stonebank, if there was ever a time for you to die, now is the one that's going to hurt you the least. He's quickly back into the lane and you just kind of reset this. Although, it's like a lane swap, and... yeah. Yep, and this is what happens. They got the most important kill, and because of that, now... There's this fight, though, and... V9 has a, a nice little bit of nuke damage to work with as well. They gotta show some respect in this, and Divai... Gonna cut his way through the tree line, but this is getting kind of awkward. Do they really dive this? They could drop the acid spray, and with the nightmare there, it might just be enough for the kill. Divai is not going down just yet, but they'll chase him into the tree line. It's a little awkward. V9 does go down, but they got the kill onto the core first, and... Nicely done early on by the Tiny. Meanwhile, down bot. A little bit of a trouble situation for speed. And, well, that combo is looking quite nice. As Sammy did rotate down bot. They get the X, get the Torrent. They have the Soul Assumption. And Yarin, at this point, without a point in the Cold Embrace, doesn't really have even the chance uh, to go for the save. Not sure if it would have done a fight. He has very little mana. And you actually see Esk making a rotation over as well. So they will not have the numbers here on Dog Champ. It might be time for them to back it off, but rather than back off, B9 actually TPs in. Meanwhile, down bot, Yamsun left alone, dropping dangerously low, but he's at least able to turn around, gets the cleave hit from the Tidebringer onto speed, and, well, Yarn had already thrown out everything that he had to work with in that fight, so he can't finish the return kill. Rotate himself towards this tower here, and, well, with that nice call on Yarn before, his mid tower defense could, or bottom tower defense could get a little bit hairy, but he got the tome, B9's coming in, that's why Esk stuns him up here, but... I feel like Esk might be dead to rights here. He's trying to get that damage in. They will find the kill, but Yamsun is able to respond. He'll drop down the X. They're going to drop the Torn as well as the Ghost Ship in, so they will take down one. Nice Winter's Curse from Yarn, though, and Speed might just be able to TP away. He will do just that. Sammy with the Soul. Of course, no Blink Dagger on Relay. And speaking of Relay, he's doomed. Mid lane. And it looks like he might just go down. Yeah, he's not getting any help. Hmm. No one to save him. Alexo gets the kill, and now B9. X is going to cancel his TP. They find both of those kills. Yeah, Wrath of Nature comes in, but that's a little too late to matter. And now Wildcard can get this tier 1 tower. This is going to be the real... He's just going to get doomed every single time here. They might get a free one onto Alexo. Really, I actually gave up on his Blink Tiger Rush to finish off the phase boots here. I just hope this isn't a mistake. But again, they're bringing absolutely everyone here. Three cores for one tiny, but I feel like this is just worth it. And yeah, they get him with the cleave. At the same time, you do lose Sammy Boy bottom, but... Uh, just losing so many cores in tow here, all for really just space for the Alchemist, and they're not even done. They're just going to keep running him down. Might be able to TP out on B9, but at the same time, you have to clear completely out of time. Also looking over at Debrioya, him giving up on that Blink Dagger rush. This is a very slow Blink Dagger, a shockingly slow Blink Dagger for him. And well, this is quite the reach, but somehow Bloody Nine does it, and I think this might be your free kill on the Divide. That's a crazy pull into the night. The Ghost Ship's making it a little bit difficult, but oh, no way he yet. gets out. Oh, man. I mean, that'll get them the kill, but they have to commit the ult, so that's not going to feel good for them as Divide does eventually go down, but now they're stuck in the fight. The Doom was thrown onto speed. They're going to be able to lock him down, and Stonebank, he doesn't want to be here. He's just going to have to leave. 
Does he actually get away, though? Alexo is able to blink in front of him, trying to body block. Infernal Blade comes through as well. Stone Bank is going to try to channel out a stun, and... I could be able to get it off. S hits him with the Dragon Tail instead. Now they get the X. They get the toss from Ryoya, trying to act defensively, but... Well, the X does pull him back into the fight, and at this point, Stone Bank... I don't know if he's going to live. If Sandboy can get one last hit onto him, he's not able to do so. Alexo tries to come in, but there's going to be the Cold Embrace keeping him alive. And at this point, Wildcard, you... He's not going to really be the target, and they go from bottom. They need to really hope they can get this BKB early, but he could also decide to BKB and fight. And yep, that's exactly what's going to happen. Rioya needs some help now. And without the curse, Ooh. I feel like this team fight might be a little bit too big for them to take. The Nightmare allowed him to dodge a lot of that damage, though. Now the Cold Embrace keeping him alive. Alexo is the one... Who is going to fall? His doom, though, will still finish Ryoya. But now Stonebank wants to fight. Fiend's grip from B9 is going to lock down to Lama. They need to be able to finish him off quickly, and they will be able to get it. Yaren snipes out the kill. And this wow. is starting to get a little bit awkward. Wildcard are losing too many heroes, and now their last two standing are stuck in the tree line. Yamsen was toggling the armlet, so he can't afford to turn it off, and he's going to go down as well. As they sort of thought. They didn't really pop on the smoke, but it, they gave enough of a clue, I suppose. Okay. They're going to jump in on the Bane, but there's going to be that Cold Embrace again. I don't know if it saves him, but it does buy time. Now the Winter's Curse is going to come through. Uh, B9 actually nightmared, so that gets a little bit strange in terms of the stacking of spells. And Dogchamp may have to fall back. The Stone Bank was hit up by the Doom. They're going to try and toss him away to safety. And, well... Oh, wait a second. Okay, now they can turn. Grillia comes in. Avalanche onto two. Unstable Concoction connects as well. Lexo gets taken down. Sammy... On the run, Familiar Stun is going to buy him some time. Esk, meanwhile, tries to TP away, but the toss will cancel it. And Wildcard, again, that one looked so perfect from them, but it's just all falling apart. They can't find the kills they need. Now they're going to suffer for it. They lost Esk. Sammy's going to get taken down by Ryoya off to the west, and hey, look at that. Roche is half health. I don't know. You just kind of just kind of trust him that he's made the right choice here, because every time a teammate's been in trouble, he and Yarn have been there with the save. Stonebank would be dead two or three times over. If it weren't for them, is B9. Well, right on Q. There's Yarn to, never mind, to try and save, but he is not going to be able to actually protect his teammate. Sammy does get the kill, but B9 going down is really something that... It might signal the slight retreat. If they get to play on this left side of the map, they still have that great vision he cast before, but they see the X here. Mm. And you did not go forward very far on Yamsun, and... Uh, okay. And they're going to go... They're going to go for more. There's the curse. On to Divai Lama. Speed is TPing so in. Oh, the amount of force. that and pushing the bottom wave, probably. They need to smoke. They need to find their opening in the next few minutes here. The problem is, look at the grip they have on Dogchimp. They have the cliff. They have both cliffs. They see Sammy Boy walking out the wave as well. And, oh, Sammy. Ooh. Well, that's unfortunate. He's going to get taken down quickly. Divai, meanwhile, is ambushed before he can join the fight. And... At this point, he just needs to fall back. Speed doesn't want to let him go, though, but that Ooh. sprouts a little off the mark, and now he might be punished. They'll hit him with Wraith the X, pack. but... Wraith Pact, Cold Embrace, just too much defensive strength here from Dogchamp as they are now pushing their way forward. Esk is dropping pretty low, and there's going to be the Winter's Curse catching out three. Ryoya with the Tree Volley could set up for the extra damage. He's going to go for the Avalanche instead, though, and it's not quite enough damage to kill Esk, but there's Yarn and Stonebank coming in to finish it off. Esk taken down, he'll buy back, and we are getting into desperation time now for Wildcard space anywhere but unfortunately unless bloody knight and stun any nightmare is gonna lead into a three or four second concoction they can't show anyone right now it's why they're being so tricky they're trying to hide as long as they can and they look at the chem rage chem rage is still on you can't doom him and then the toss esk is gonna die back yeah fiend's grip's even there to keep him locked down they find oh, the first no. kill now they're onto alexo as well to buy trying to make something happen here with the static link but it's just not gonna be enough they're gonna run him down and that's gg wild card will concede defeat and dog champ Winners of eight straight games, ET, and they're on their way to the grand final. I cannot believe this. Right.